setting up your invoice and creating an invoice once you have your products and your coupons ready is easy. And you'll be in invoicing. You can go and select all invoices. That's where you usually land. Then you'd see reoccurring templates and your regular templates. What I would do is create an invoice template based on your package or your program or your product. Then you have a template that you can continue to use. In here, you'll see we created a template that's set up for a specific package. All you'll want to do is select a new template, give the template a name. You can call it whatever your package is. You can select your logo for your invoice. It'll show you right here, the build to the invoice, all the information, your company information in the top right. Then you would select add the product, select product one, two. Let's do package one. This is a one-time product. Then we can add any of our notes, terms and conditions, refund policy, exchange policy, any other details related to this product or service you can put inside this nifty little box. You can change the font type size. You can change how the font is read. You can even change the font itself. And anytime you put your terms and conditions in here, you can easily highlight the terms and conditions and add a link to your term and condition. Once you add a link, it'll ask you to add a new window or same window. I recommend leaving it in the new window. You can also add some fun custom values. So you can add invoice custom values related. You'll see there's invoice custom values. You can add your own custom values that you may have already set up. Once you're done adding the package, you just hit save and you'll see your invoice template ready to go. You can edit it, you can use it one time, or you can use reoccurring. Once you have all of your invoice templates set up based on your packages, your programs, or your products, when I click reoccurring, it's now creating this template. Let me add a new template. Let's add a new reoccurring product. We'll call this monthly, and let me call this my reoccurring template for monthly plan. And we'll go ahead and select save. Now I've got a package. I've got a couple of templates for one time, and I've got a template for my reoccurring time. Then all you need to do when you're ready to create a new invoice is you can come into your templates. You can say reoccurring template for monthly plan. You could say use this for reoccurring or use this for a one time. I recommend and labeling your reoccurrings and your one time just to be a little bit organized on your templates. But let's say I'm going to use this for my reoccurring. Now I'm in the new reoccurring template. When I create a new template like this, I give it a new name. Basically, I will put the customer information or whatever information is related to the actual client that I'm billing. This would be take me to the reoccurring. I'm going to go ahead and leave here. If I go to my template and I wanted to do a one time, I could say one time use. It now takes me to a new invoice where I could put the contact's name, the client's name, or the package and the client's name here. And now I've created a new invoice. So adding templates is really fun. It makes it easy to continue to reuse whichever templates you'd like. I like to do these based on products or package offerings because then you don't have to recreate a new invoice each time. Let's go into all invoices. You'll see right here, there's a new invoice in draft. You can, from the all invoices, select new invoice. You can go to reoccurring templates. You can create a new new invoice here or a new reoccurring template as well, then you can go back to your templates to utilize this one. Let's go ahead and just create a new reoccurring. We'll do this for new reoccurring template. Then we would select frequency. How often is this a monthly? Select the date of the month, the start date of the reoccurring invoice, the end date, if there's an end date, select the reoccurring image that you would like to use for your reoccurring. We'll go ahead and save. We've got our logo. We'll go ahead and set this up to the date. This would be the 12th. This will be once a month. There's never an end date. Send invoice five days in advance or two days in advance. Now you've got your 
reoccurring set up for your new template. Again, put your customer name in here. Anytime you go to select save, if you're missing details, it's going to tell you which details we need to add. So we will add a customer and you will see the pay button, the product. You can add any additional products here. You can add any additional notes here as well. Then we can go ahead and save it. I'm saving this because I just want to leave it in a draft. So let me go back here and we'll go ahead and leave. I didn't want to schedule it to make it go live because it's not a real invoice. When we go to reoccurring template, it says new reoccurring template. This is the customer. They are billed every month and it is in draft. We can edit it to bring it live. We can then clone it to make another copy of that same invoice if we'd like to, maybe change the product. And now we've got a reoccurring template and we've got a regular template. All we need to do now is actually sell something and then create a reoccurring template based on the product if it's reoccurring or add a new product based on the new product. That would then become an order. If I go to invoices and you see all invoices, this would show you that a new invoice has been created. If the status was pending or paid, it would all of a sudden start to show up in our orders, our subscriptions, and our transactions. Once the invoice has been paid, there we go. We can even take a past invoice that maybe we did already and convert it into a template as well. So you can clone it, you can convert it as a template, you you can reuse it or you can now have this customer's invoice ready to go send it and get paid we'll just create a new invoice again this one would be the same i would need to go in set my logo setting a new invoice let's go ahead and select this person let's add our package one we're going to select save it'll show the amount due i'll go ahead and save this here is where we can send the invoice. So once you have your invoice created, your customer named right here, you can copy and mark a sent and we can go ahead and send this invoice. It comes into their email. They click the link to pay the invoice and you will see it in your transactions. If it's reoccurring, you'll see it in your subscriptions. If it's any orders, you'll see it right here as tracking a single submission in the orders section. That's how you create an invoice being reoccurring or a template or adding a new invoice on the go, ready to go and get paid. The invoicing system is very easy to use. Just make sure you're sending it to the right contact that you have it set up and take advantage of utilizing invoice templates. It makes it a lot easier to continue to send out the same invoices based on different products and services that you offer. Once you have all of your payments and information set up, it's very easy on the mobile app to select invoicing and invoice on the go as well. And if you're using Stripe, you can utilize text to pay, tap to pay, ACH payments, all Stripe related payment features. Oh, we made it.